I want. I, I don't know if I have the words to describe it. It was very moving because, I mean, for me particularly, you know, I, I'm coming from a very difficult background where there are times in my life when I didn't think I would stay alive to see the next day. And now, you know, you know 10 years later, I'm standing on the stage with the Dalai Lama. You know, to me, it's almost like beyond my <laughs> comprehension. But uh, that is, again, the beauty of life, the remarkable miracles that... These are, this is it. It's, there's no grand boom miracle. It's the day-to-day -day relationship that we uh, have with each other. That's what counts. You know. uh, for me, particularly at the end of this event, if say uh, there were about 15,000 kids, uh, say if 1,000 of those kids learn something from here and it become part of their life, for me that is a big step. Because as a child coming from trauma, or when a child is angry, you try to test people in a lot of ways to see whether they are the same people as the other people you have encountered, whether they behave the same way. So I had to test people quite a lot and uh, thankfully the people who were in my life did not waver at all, their commitment did not waver. So, so you need to find out why you're angry. Mm -hmm. And I realized the reason why I was angry for quite a lot is because first of all I wanted to be able to have my childhood again but it's a reality I needed to come to terms with to know that I will never be able to have it on my own terms. I distrusted people quite a lot because I didn't think that um, people befriended each other to really help them because most of my life I've been dragged into things and suffered and lost family because of believing in somebody else. You know? Our generation and the generations afterwards and even those that are older than us, uh, the current state of the world really requires us to begin to move away from sort of this thinking that um, it, it's all about me, that the world is much bigger and that we have to care for other people and help other people. As we cannot afford to wait, particularly our generation, we have lots of work to do and we have to start now. You know. A lot of bad things happened to me, but I survived the war. Most people didn't, mm -hmm. uh, they died. Or some people who survived were either maimed or uh, you know, they had more serious problems than I did. So it's not to feel better, but to, to sort of look at your situation and say, well, uh, my situation could be worse. So I have nothing to really complain about, but rather, to find a way to use my time and my energy to help others you know, with that instead of being angry and channel that anger in a more uh, uh, productive way. Young people to know that they have the capacity not to belittle their capacity to help. You know, because oftentimes we look at where and everyone's despair and says that the problems are so much, what will my contribution be, can't do anything at all. Mm -hmm. But if all of us felt that way, the alternative will be worse, which is that no one will do anything. Mm -hmm. But if each person does their own part, and together we're able to actually move mountains and do things. I believe that strongly. So. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm joking. Okay, you can hear okay?